SEL stands for Social Emotional Learning, and here in APS, we believe that it is critical for students and is the foundation for student learning and for student success. It not only supports our students in being successful in the classroom, but it also helps them to be able to do things like engage with their peers, be positive members of their community, and build the skills necessary to be successful in college and the workforce once they leave us at high school. In Virginia, we have Virginia Standards of Learning and there are SEL competencies and they align really nicely with Responsive Classroom. Responsive Classroom is a set of structures and practices that build the social emotional learning and autonomy of our students. One of the things about Responsive Classroom as a classroom teacher that I loved was that it went from this idea of extrinsic motivation of let me give you a reinforcer to really building that idea of students as members of a community and taking care of themselves, taking care of each other, taking care of our community and the power that that instilled in them. It develops their social emotional regulation, it develops their autonomy, and it really helps them see themselves in a light that is positive and that they are community members that are contributing not only to their own little community, but to their school and their country. APS is doing a wonderful job of incorporating SEL throughout the entire school. It's not just something that happens once a week or once a day. It is incorporated into every curriculum so that students are learning, reinforcing, and practicing those skills consistently throughout their school day. What we're gonna do is an activity now. So the one I brought with me for us to do today is one word I use to describe myself. And then at the bottom, it says, here's why. So I want you to think beyond the superficial. What describes who you are as a human being? I chose kind and I chose it because I respect people and I don't call people by the names they don't want to be called. Uh, I think that's important because um, if they don't feel included, they'll be, like, be sad. Tier 1 is really important because they're things that apply to everyone and so they're skills that we all need and especially in a middle school, you're a community. So what you do matters for you, sure, but it also matters for the part you play as a member of the community. So the tier one things that we're doing and presenting for all students really helps to enhance our sense of community and help the students to feel that they're a part of what happens here. And then they can see themselves being part of shifting a culture or changing the way that they interact or their peers interact. All of this ties into our school theme of looking at kindness, inclusion, and acceptance. We can't just be rude to someone. We should be able to communicate with them properly and to be able to help and understand others, especially when they feel as if they're useless or they just feel alone. It's best to make people feel like they are included, to make them feel that they are important. They are important to the community and we should make them feel that. Because you don't know how those words could affect others and what they've gone through that you don't know about because they could have some serious trauma and those words could affect them seriously. Sometimes if I'm really stressed and sad about what somebody else said, a student or maybe even a teacher, um, I could just go to the counselor and like talk with them. I could just like let out my feelings and stuff. Our job is to help them recognize, hey, I'm having this feeling. What do I do with it? What's the behavior that's more healthy? And then how do I sustain that? And having the social emotional learning in place gives them those skills so that they are emotionally available to learn and then emotionally available to deal with life. In fourth grade today, we saw a structure called interactive modeling used to combine social emotional learning with math reflection, where the teacher explicitly reviewed what she wanted the students to do in terms of their reflection and collaboration. And that allows students not only to be strength-based in what they did well and to use that to set a goal for tomorrow's learning. 
And what I felt about math today was I felt happy and sleepy. Why did you feel sleepy? Because like I, I was tired because I woke up early. Okay. Me and Moises played the game together and I beat Moises and it was really fun. Something that went well in math for me was our must do because me and Noah got to play together for the first time in like ever because we basically never get to play a math with someone. Having responsive classroom as a school-wide practice, it really is a great opportunity for us to instill that social emotional learning every single day. So I think when we're teaching this SEL skills and helping kids to practice them, then they do feel they have better relationships with their teachers, with the other students in their classroom, and so they're willing to push themselves and extend themselves academically in ways that they might not otherwise. Having to go to my teachers, knowing that they will help me and I won't have to feel nervous about it, I think it really helps. And working together in a school environment, grades are better. And if we communicate with our teachers better, we get better results, we get better learning. Having a kind environment, being kind to others, can help the workspace even more. In public education, our job is to help kids become well-rounded adults that can go out into society and be productive and contribute. And so SEL is really the tool to get them to develop all those skills we're looking at. So if we start young, those are all skills that we then reinforce every year they're with us. So by the time we graduate kids and send them out of APS, we've got these really solid human beings who can go out and be positive change in the world. Sending a clear, unified message that all students have a place where they belong.